You're watching Global BD Mirror News Alert. Economic managers of the incoming administration of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. are aiming to lower the country's debt-to-GDP ratio to 3% by the end of the president-elect's term in 2028. Incoming Finance Secretary Benjamin Diokne said that such target is doable under the present tax system, which the Duterte administration will leave behind. These include the expansion of value-added tax base by removing ineffective VAT exemptions, except for some sectors, among others, to generate revenues. The Department of Transportation, in partnership with Grab Philippines, announced free shuttle rides. The free rides will be stationed in Terminals 2 and 3 of Naia beginning June 15 and will run until June 30. The shuttle rides are available from 8 in the morning up to 11 in the evening. U.S. Women Open begins today at the Pine Needles in Pinehurst, North Carolina, where Yuka Sasu tries to become the first player to repeat as champion. This is the first time in 15 years that the Pine Needles Golf Course is hosting the 72-hole championship. After becoming the first Filipino to win a golf major last year, the 21-year-old Sasu will be playing for Japan this time. Meanwhile, Olympic champion Nelly Korda is returning after a two-month absence because of a blood clot in her arm. Jin Young Ko of South Korea is now the top-ranked player in the world, with Korda down to number two because of the illness that forced her out of the game since February. A ridge of a high-pressure area is prevailing over the country. It is a weather system that brings drier and hot conditions. According to Pag-asa, the HPA is extending over the eastern sections of southern Luzon and Visayas. Dry and hot weather is expected most times of the day. Localized thunderstorms may still happen in the afternoon or evening in some areas. Possible high in Metro Manila, Cebu and Metro Davao is at 33 degrees Celsius. And Chengdi flew to Davao del Sur on Thursday to attend the mediation hearing of the 1 billion cyber libel case. Actor An Chung Di went to the Hall of Justice in Digo City on Thursday with his lawyer for the hearing of the cyber libel case filed against him by Dumper Party List Representative Claudine Bautista Lim in November 2021. The case was filed against Di after he tweeted last August 2021 where he allegedly implied that the money used for Bautista's expensive wedding was from the funds of the group she represents in the lower house. Going international, Amber Heard cannot pay her ex-husband Johnny Depp more than $10 million in damages. On Thursday, Amber Heard's lawyer admitted that the actress will not be able to pay the Pirates of the Caribbean star $10.35 million after the jury's unanimous verdict, which took the actress' side in the defamation trial. Heard's lawyer added that the Aquaman star wants to file an appeal to the verdict, saying she has some excellent grounds for it. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good afternoon.